<clears throat> Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another stream. Yes, welcome. So, in this one, I'm going to be working on a game. Uh, I, I have an interesting idea, I swear to god. Okay, I sorry, I got, I got an alarm. Okay, so, um, I already have a base idea of what I'm gonna do. Uh, first I need to work on cc.js, which is my JavaScript library, uh, for making games. And, as you can see, it's a lot. <laughs> so, uh... I already have some ideas for what I'm going to add to it, like uh, light simulations, which will raise the hue or saturation of pixels around something, but I want it to be very easy to use, so I'm just going to take it. How about I go and make a new file? This one is going to be called gram off. Let's pull it up. Okay. Now, grandma. DC.js. Paste the code. Okay. Index.html. Styles that CSS. Okay, great. So the first thing that we're gonna do in the next is HTML. Get the boilerplate, and then we're gonna link our first file cc.js script src equals script.js. Okay, now we need to make a canvas uh, id equals canvas src or wait, width equals 1,325, height is equal to 623, I'm just going to here, uh, user select, Hmm, okay. So, we're just going to make our canvas to see the background color. Uh, why do I always do that? Background color. Aquamarine. Okay, let's see it. Okay. Oh, wait. I'm. Why am I forgetting this now? I always forget to link my style sheet now. Or, uh, so link rel equals style sheet href equals styles equals styles to css. There we go. Okay. Um, now, yep, there we go. We have that. But first, we need to make body margin equals zero. Body. We're not even going to be using this that much. Sorry, I'm going to call it kind of. It's perfectly okay. Okay, now the bottom right there. Okay, yeah, three. Three is the most. Oh, I'm just gonna make... Hmm. I don't really know what to keep the background, because, yeah, the background. Since it's more tile-based, I guess I'm gonna make it light gray. There we go, we got a completely light gray background now. So, now, we're going to want to go into our script.js. We're going to want to... It's always useful just to take this right here and copy and paste it again. Just It prevents a lot of bugs. So, now, let's see. We need to start off with our loading screen. So our loading screen is going to be uh, the 
the hundred. Okay, that's not that good. Real, that's not that good. So I'm just gonna need to go 100 right there. Okay, now let's. This is X 700, Y 400. 500. Wait, no, no, that was the X. No, I don't want to raise the X. 800. Hmm, that's close to perfect. This is such a nice community. <laughs> God. Okay. Oh. Uh, I need to. I need to mute the conversation for just a minute or five or you know the whole entire stream also works. Okay. Now let's go for one hundred eleven. I feel like that will be good for a loading screen. So I'm just gonna do this as gray. Good. Gonna want Oh, I know I put that in here somewhere. Didn't I? I can I thought that I placed in mouse cords. Hmm. Ah, uh, yes, that's what it is. Ah, uh, I need to fix that later. But as of right now, I can just copy that code right here. Let's do pause x, pause y equals. This one, it's going to be, pause. oh wait, I can't do that, I forgot, chords, then console.log chords. Now, I seem to make it unclick equals Hopefully this works first try Client X of undefined. Yeah, that's what I thought would happen. Oh Wait, no, I know exactly why that's not working. Oh, screw it, I'll make it event. Okay, pause, event. Okay, let's see it. Chords is not what now? Oh, I'm so stupid. Pause X. Pause Y. There we go. Now we have mouse clicky click. Then you just love it. Okay, so now that we got our mouse clicky clicky, uh, I can remove my console.log there. So, first things first, I need to use this to pinpoint mouse position when I am done, at least. I also need to make this an on update function. So let's make function update. Keep that there. Refresh.
Okay, there we go. Uh, I also need to do update, unload. There we go, now we got this, and it should be all clicky click in console. Okay, apparently not. Um, Didn't I do that? I'm pretty sure I did that. I don't understand mouse cords sometimes. Oh, wait, no, it's only because I did it before it loaded in. Yeah, I'm very smart. Okay, so... Next thing. We need a button in the middle of it. So, circle. I'll just make this one. What's the middle of that? That would be 400. 200, size 20, blue. Hmm, circle is X, Y, size blue. Why am I forgetting everything? Circle size, circle color, yeah. Hmm. Oh, it's not a global variable, that's why. Should fix that issue of a global variable. Okay, please no error. Okay, it's still having an error. Great. Oh, that worked. Okay, so now that we got our little circle there, we need to center it and make it a button. 600. I'm going to make. Three hundred down. Okay, good. Nice new text. Oh, I hate text. It's, uh, 100, 100, text. Oh, my god. <laughs> really forgot how hard it is to memorize text. Text size. Oh, I even forgot, forgot size. Forty. Text font and text color. So our text font is going to be Arial. And our text color is going to be blue just to test it. Okay. Eh. I guess it's fine without blue. Actually, I can just do CTX dot stroke style equals blue. Okay, apparently not. I'll just have to live with it as gray, unless I can fix that in a later version, where it is stroke style equals text color. Okay, let's see it. Okay, no errors. Good. Okay, so we have our text right here, which I really need to fix some stuff with. CTX dot stroke style equals blue, please work. No errors, please. No. CTX, I don't understand. <laughs> oh. Mm hmm. What do I make it fill style? Uh, 
Okay, well, I can add that into actual cc.js. I can make it fill. Remove fill style. It was blue. Finally. Okay, there we go. Now we can focus on centering it like right here. Actually, I see the center in general. So we're just going to go with 630. This goes a bit too far. 600, move it down. There we go. Uh, just gonna go black. Okay, this one is going to be. What do I name it? Grim off. Sure. Got a. Pull it back to the side of it, 530. Uh, what do I do this here? Text or font, family, seg, sego. Please work. No way that actually works. Yeah. Could I just literally copy this entire thing right here and it would work? Please work. <gasps> that worked. Yay. Okay, so we got that. Graham off. Now we need to Did I add that single yeah single controller then function Single click. This one's going to be if uh home screen is equal to true. Okay, so home screen is going to always start with equal to true. And now Home screen is equal to true, then it will run this next code. So if home screen is equal to two, then another if statement. If pause x. Okay, is less than, is greater than or equal to. No, so it's going to be. Uh, the circle right here here i'm just gonna have this as start button x okay let start button size equal 70 let start Button X equals 630. Let's start. Start button Y equals 240. Okay, might need to be a bit further than that, like than that, like 300. Now it's right there. Good. If plus x is greater than or equal to pause x or one sec start button x minus start button size the alert hi so now Okay, interesting. Eight 
Interesting. Okay, so it's calling. Home screen is... Oh, wait, that's my issue. Let... Interesting again, let home screen equals true if pause x is greater than or equal to start button x. So it's not calling this if statement right here which is what we needed to call if pause x there is oh i understand pause x or pause event Okay, now I can make it if it is that minus start button size. Now that should make it if I get right on it. There we go. Uh, and I need to have another thing right here is less than, or no, this one needs to be greater than. Oh, no, that's less than. But now I need to do for Y, which honestly isn't too hard. Start pause Y. Minus. Okay, so that gets the bottom. Then finally, another and operator. Actually, I'm pretty sure I can just press enter after every and. And, there we go, that's a lot better. Y is greater than that, minus it. So now, if you click anywhere, there we go. So you got, and it works fine. I mean, it, it's a little bit off because if you click right here, it's fine, but overall, there we go, we got a nice button in the middle. And this one is going to be... Start button color. Let start button color equals... It's going to be green... There we go, it's light green, and if you click on it, it's going to, uh, start button color is equal to normal green. There was an error there, definitely. Pause is not defined, interesting. Um, hmm. There we go. Now I just need to see what that arrow was all about. Hmm. Oh, wait, it's at the start when it tries to log. Okay, so now that we have that, I just need to have home screen equals false. Uh, set interval. No. Set timeout set timeout for 
start button co uh, color to equal light green. Um, there we go. So now it's just Oh wait, then I need update right right after that. Update. Now click on it, it changes back. But only once. So I click on it, changes back, but now it doesn't. Document dot body dot style dot cursor equals waiting. There we go. So we're just gonna need to add that to here. Add that to here, make it auto. Now it's just, there we go. <laughs> that looks really good. So it's just, so that's gonna be the loading. And it's going to be if home screen is equal to true then it will do this so it's now a home screen but i doubt that will actually work for that so i just need to have home screen equals false inside of this it will be after everything okay now everything should work real quick right there just like that it comes onto there so this is going to be our loading. So else if home screen is equal to false and uh select screen is equal to true. Select screen. Ah, yes, that's why. Nothing actually happens, though. So now I need to do W controller function key W. That would just be a simple update. Actually, I'm going to make a uh, Q. Q is going to be the update button. See it? Key Q is not defined. Interesting. Let me see that. Hmm. Did I miss that many? Here, let me see if I find Q. Q should be all the way up at the top. Actually, the first one. Q controller. Q. Key. Oh, that's my bug. Easy. It's just capital. Now... No errors, please. Thank you very much. If I click that, it loads, click Q. So, oh, that's because select screen. Click on it. You're continuing code from last time? No, why would I ever do that? Okay. Good to know, uh, well actually this is going to have to start off as false, but as soon as it updates right here, it needs to make select screen is equal to true. Now it should work fine, so if I do that, okay, that wasn't supposed to happen, it needs to make select screen equals true after that. Okay, so now click it, it loads, if I click Q, there we go. Now it works. This one is more technical code, while last time it was more visual. 
So this time it's going to be a lot less fun to watch if you're here for the visual progression. So alert high. I first need to need to have this on to load. Okay, I can put this back up at the top now. This one is going to create a rect from, which means rectangle 100, 100, 500, 200, light gray. What color is my, is my background? Oh, my background's literally light gray. I don't want to talk about it. Uh, there. There we go. Now we have a rectangle. Uh, this is just me making a basic map real quick. Actually, I don't even need to make a basic map real quick. I just need to have a circle. Uh, player X. Player Y. Player size. Player, player color. That's just a lot of stuff right there. So let player X equals, so I'm going to start off at 100, 100, actually no, 200, 200, let player Y is going to be equal to 200, let player size is going to be equal to 30, no, no, 20. Let player color equal to, I don't know, let's just go with black for now. So now we got a little black circle here, which is our player. Now I need to have a W controller. W controller, A controller, S controller, and D controller. This is me just adding all the controllers for my library. Now I can just do function, E, W. Now this is me adding all the functions for the keys. Normally, this would be, like, so many lines of code, but that's why, like, my library makes stuff like this so easy. KD. So, W, A, S, and D. Like that. And this one's going to be... Well, every single one of them is going to have to have update at the bottom. Okay, now that we have that, we can just do player y minus minus player x minus minus player y plus plus and then player x plus plus. So now Little ball do be moving. He do be moving pretty slow though. So I need to make it not slow, which I can easily do by plus equals and then like five plus equals five. It just makes him a little bit faster. So now he's just a little bit faster, which I find I find that this is a lot better. It's a bit choppy now. That's why I always I like to keep it at one, but there's kind of no way to make it not choppy and not at one. <clears throat> but I actually want to have this as player speed. Let player speed is going to be equal to five. Okay, variables equal good. Now it works still because I'm not that stupid. Okay, great. Let's go. Uh, I need to make this. Uh, uh, I 
gram off. Gram off is basically supposed to mean like program off. The whole base idea of this game is that you get to type in code to defeat an enemy. So I also have to have a processing.js after. Well, I, I guess I could keep it to this. This is more animation based though. So back to this uh, function update home screen. So our ball, our little boy here can just move around. Now wrecked. Okay, I have a really interesting idea. That's player. Since we are on the selection screen, I need to make a rectangle. Uh, rect goes from... Please work. Okay, that that's not exactly how I planned it to be. I actually need to make this before, so my character goes over. Hello, Carbstone. Welcome to the stream. Okay, if I make that 100, what will it look like? Okay, I can. I actually want my player X to be... There we go, right there. So, I'm going to make this 150. There we go, that's about big enough for one. So, this is the selection screen. 150. It'll be 500, 800, 800. Okay, let's see. What is Grandma? Okay, yeah, it's a in-progress game that I'm trying to make. Uh, Basically, the whole point of it is kind of like a programming game, but it's going to be you and something else, and you get to type in commands. It's going to be super simplified, though, so you're not going to have to be that smart. <laughs> so, I actually have this as... Hmm. First... So first screen will just be kind of you in a little village, I guess. So there we go here. Perfect. Let's go. Okay. Nothing there. And first screen is equal to true. Oh, I need to change this variable real quick. First. Okay. Just like that. And we have a little ball moving. Now we want that ball to actually do something. But first, I'm going to put player up there. There we go. So, W, A, S, and D controllers. I guess they work good. So, I'm going to have this actually as a map. So, I'm going to go back to renaming all the variables. Map screen. And this will be level based. So, there we go. Map screen. Works great. Now, let map count equals zero. Okay, let map equals one. Actually, no, it's just going to be zero at the start. So now that map screen is equal to true, it's going to take your circle. And, hmm. I need to make an if statement in all of these. So if. movement is equal to true there we go actually technically this needs to stay on the outside
Okay, let's go back up and copy and paste it. Okay, and the last one right here. If right there, perfect. Nice. So movement is going to start off as false. And if I'm going to add a new thing that said that's going to be okay, I just need to do uh space controller. So now I'm just going to make a function key space and then what was our variable name uh, map count map count is plus plus there we go and then update right after it So, okay, that's a bit infuriating. I'm going to change that to like one tenth of a second. There we go. Now, it's right up there. You can't move, which is good. Uh, please tell me there's no errors. Good, there's no errors. Love it when there's no errors. So, now we're just going to need an if condition map count is equal, equal to one. It's gonna have it as alert one just to make sure that it works fine space space there's definitely okay how is there not an error uh, if map count is equal to one key space update if map count is equal to one that's an interesting thing Okay, space isn't doing things, so I'll just have it as uh, key g, why not? Function key g, and now I need to have this as g controller. So I should make it if I do that, press that. There we go, for some reason space wasn't working, I will have to fix that later in a new version of ct.js. So now it's right there. There's going to be multiple circles there's going to be circle uh going to be 200 100 30 blue please work please work please work yay there we go so now i'm gonna make it it's going to be player x plus equals 200 then it needs to run it again so now if you do this click it press g nothing okay that <clears throat> maximum call stack size exceeded js 282 oh god that's not a good error Hmm. Oh, it's because I did that. Oopsie. So. I can do that. I can, I can fix it. I hope, I really hope that this works. Do that. G. Okay, now it's behind there. So now it should be on top. There we go. Right there. Uh, these will just be our levels right here. Uh, 300, 400, 400, 500, 600. So now G, G. Okay, I'm pressing G multiple times. Doesn't seem to want to do anything. So, map count is equal to one. Ah, yes. If 
map count is equal to 1, player x is going to be equal to 200, now I need to have a bunch of else ifs, I could probably just use break statements, but I am too lazy to do that, so map count is equal to 2. equals 300 now i can just copy and paste this how many times was it six so four five six there we go just like that uh if i click this g g g interesting ah yes that's why three four five so we have five levels Except I'm going to make so right now it's going to be very linear I'm gonna to have to come actually I'm gonna make this right now so hmm probably a much easier way of doing this that I'm just totally not very smart about so do that let map selection equal to true so it's going to be the first time so right there g oh i need to make it so is that it's map select selection equals false there we go so now you will only be able to move one time in the direction there we go so next thing is next we actually need to make a selection thing so it is going to be let's see it's going to move then it's going to ah yes set set timeout timeout is going to be uh 500 milliseconds and it's going to be Open map. There we go. So now we have function open map. I can just add this to each one. So I'm just going to take if map is equal to one it will then open map wait no i don't need that why am i being this stupid that i just did it the most complicated way imaginable all i needed was to add more if statements right here to my drawing oh well then i'll need to have map screen equals false so now if i click that everything goes away i actually need to have set timeout of 500 which basically just waits 500 milliseconds so if i do that click g there we go That's interesting. What if I make that one second? Ah, it's because it takes too long to update. There we go. Okay, I'll have to fix that in just a second. So now we need to add a else if map screen is equal to false. And game screen is equal to true. So let game screen equal false. Game screen equals true. Then it will run this if statement right here and alert. Hi. 
So here, click that, click that. There we go. Hi, it goes away. Perfect. Uh, we need more if statements. Right here, it's going to be map. Hmm, okay, I'm also going to have this while you're at it. Actually, actually, I won't make that yet. So, I'll remove these. Okay, let's start drawing map one. So, first I'm going to turn on movement equals true, which should allow me to just move around as soon as I do that. But, right here, which isn't a really nice thing, is I need to move this up on top no matter what. Actually, one second. No, I should probably move it to the bottom so it's printed over everything. G. Now I'm able to move. Okay, great. So, now we need to have enemies, which is going to be a lot of stuff because I just now realized that equals true is going to be very difficult so I need to start with oh uh, yes okay so uh First things first, we need, to, oh, I lost my train of thought. We need a, we need to raise size. So player size is equal to 100. So now if I press that, yay, we're big. It's equal to, no, I'm joking. That's only gonna be like 60. No, 50. 50 is better. There, there, there. So now, we are big, I guess. We're also going to need to draw a line. And it's going to be from... Interesting, interesting. Uh, 1,325. Quick math. Uh... 800, oh wait, no, it's just, uh, line, one second. Yes, well that was my mom. Don't even mind the absolute cringe and the fact that my hotkey didn't work. So, we aren't going to talk about that. Uh, so, back to this, I guess. Um, I lost my train of thought. Oh, yes, 900. red interesting can I get an error for that apparently not line start line and oh I forgot I need to make end line so end line is going to be 900 1,000, there we go, easy enough, bam, boom, bop, bada, bop, bing, too far, gotta change that, so now it's 700, I can all, actually only need to make that 7, <laughs> G, there we go, almost in the center, 650, 650, there we go, that's right in the middle, so, my guy will pull up right here. You will be right here. I also need to make another line that separates these two. This line will be 
gray. And this line will be from 0 to exactly 650. So 0, 300, 312.5. That's the exact amount, but I guess I can just go 310. Maybe actually just 350. And since I'm pretty good with coordinates, that should have worked. So bam, here, here, here. There we go. <laughs> oh, pretty awesome. And I'm also going to make move speed. Player speed. Player speed equals 10. Here we are. Player moving. Now I also need to make it so... Uh, you will not be able to move right there. So now, if player Y is less than, one sec, okay, if it is greater than or equal to, uh, 350. Or is player Y is less than or equal to zero, then player Y is equal to 100. Oh, it equals C dot height. C dot height divided by two. Okay, let's see it. So now if I choose my first level right there, now go down. That's it, putting me right there, which I don't exactly want. So I guess I'm gonna have to put a manual in input. So if it goes down 350, it's 140. So now, select my first game. Bam, go right there. I go out, bam. So I'm gonna make this plus player size. And this one needs to be minus player size. So now, if you just touch the edge, no matter how big you are, it should be a lot more clean. There we go. Now we need to add another if statement. If player x 650. Player x. Imagine this works first try. Oh, well, actually, first I need to make this player x hmm that actually worked somehow so uh yay i'm overwhelmed with joy you can move around in your little box here and it's a little bit weird on the whole that thing but so yeah you have your little box right here you're gonna are gonna be your controls uh, let turn equals opponent. Okay, I'm already almost at 200 lines of code, which is actually pretty surprising, because all I've made is a home screen and selecting. <laughs> okay. Oh, you know what I really did forget, though? Some music. So... Okay, let me just turn off my let me just turn off my stream real quick. So let me go into my libraries, which nobody is allowed to see. Uh, there we go. There we go, and back to code.
Okay. Nice music. Hmm. Now there needs to be a circle in the enemy spot. Okay, I need to make completely new variables for these. Enemy. Actually, I'll make it opponent. crap I also need to make uh, I'll make that soon so great job so that's our getting teleported back function we now need to make a circle that's not what I meant. Um. God, now I have to delete that. I hate when I accidentally do that. So. No. Circle. Let's see. It's going to be. Opponent. X equals make it 900. I'll just put it right there. Opponent X, opponent Y, opponent size, opponent. Please work. Yay, thingy. Okay, so, then, opponent size is going to be 50. Uh, why? This is actually going to be more puzzle-based game. Opponent... Hmm. Let's see what error I got this time. Pause is not to What? No, there should be an error, right? Please. Okay, let me just reload and see if it works. Okay, immediate bug that needs fixing. First thing that I asked myself is, did I set that to the wrong value? Okay, no, I, I do like this song. This song is my jam. Oh, wait, crap. I actually need to remove that from my playlist. That's copyrighted. Okay. Hmm. Oh, I'm stupid. That's why. I don't know why it ought to... I, I, I vividly remember tapping onto it. And their player uh there actually be a thousand there you go right in the center uh but before i do any of that i should probably make it so it is document dot uh okay fine get element by id canvas dot style dot background equals red see if it works 
Yay, okay, that works. I also just need to do document dot body dot style equals. But it's not actually going to be that. It's going to be what's going to be. I have no idea what it's going to be. Light blue. There we go. That looks a lot better. So, uh, it's going to be opponent's turn first. Okay, so here's where I pop in some math. So opponent move equals math dot seal. What? No, I I literally removed it from the playlist. You're, I'm not allowed to play that on stream. It's. Totally Are you kidding me? There we go. Oh my god. Okay. Math.seal, math.random, times, uh, I don't know, let's just start with two. If opponent move is equal to one, Okay, and then alert two. Right after that, it will be turn equals player. Please work. As you can tell, that worked great. Mm -hmm. Like my, it worked so great that my player disappeared and I also have six errors. Opponent is not defined. Interesting. One hundred and seventy-three. Oh, that's why. And I'm guessing that if I do that, all my errors will go away. Please work. One. Yes, finally. Okay, now I just need to have a set timeout right here for 600 okay please work one 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 okay that's interesting I'll make it console dot log okay inspect do that two okay great so it works it works then it turns turn to player which is good so now we know that the moves can work Hmm. Now, so opponent move, we need to add player health. Actually, I'm going to go with energy. Let player energy equals, it's going to start at 100. also going to be if you are in this state if map screen equals false game screen equals true then it's going to have a 
uh text and text will be 100 100 30 help me uh ariel red imagine that actually works first try oh it works first try i'm so happy Black. Right forty. Oh, that's why. Uh, I don't want to talk about it. There, there. Help me. There we go. Perfect. Let's make it seven hundred. So now it's going to say energy plus now all good and dandy should be energy 100 perfect I'm gonna lower that to 30 and turn that to 650 Okay, now it's too close, so I'm gonna remove I'm gonna move that to 30 and this to 70. There we go. That's nicely positioned. Okay, I'm going to plug right now. If you would please consider like and subscribing, that would greatly appreciate it. Yay, okay. Um No. If opponent move is equal to one, then it will. Hmm. Okay, now it's not updating. So, yeah, I guess that, that actually is fine. Perfect, actually. Well, no, that's not perfect. It also needs to then update stats. So, go down. Function. Update. Stats. Which is going to be... Update. I know it's kind of cheesy, but it works. Okay voice crack there sad no, so player energy equals minus equals one. 10 there we go. okay it works oh no that's not what I wanted no okay if turn is equal to opponent Turn equals player. That should not be doing it. Hmm. Very interesting. So. To fix that. So turn equals opponent. This turns it back to player. Unless I have an error. I don't have any error. Well, I do have an error. It's just not a very important one. So turn equals player. Hmm. Ah, that's why. One equal sign screws up the whole entire game. Okay, I didn't get one. I just need to get one. Please, one. Yay, there we go, please, only one. Yay, okay, it works. So, and I'm going to add a thing. Okay, that's going to be difficult. Hmm, animations later. Right now, I'll just focus on base things. Now, right here is kind of what I'm scared about. I guess I could have possible options and then keybinds for it. So like for this attack use O, so just a hint of randomness to make the game a little bit more spicy. 
and then I need to make in let opponent energy equals 100. So, yep, I'm going to make some keybinds real quick. Um, what should the keybinds be? It'll be H. No, it'll be so U controller. I controller. O controller. And P controller. Okay. And I just need to make a function. Key U. My library makes life so easy. So U I O B. There we go. Uh, they don't actually do anything, but let's hope that it works just fine. Control Shift I. Great. Nice to know. Uh, let's see. Console. Ooh. If I need to have if turn equals player actually needs to be equals equals to player, then it will run console dot log you. Yes, let's go. <laughs> that works. I'm actually so happy that works. Okay, so that console that logs you. U I O P. U I wait no uh U I O P Don't you love it? Okay, now I need another text. This one's going to be We don't know. I think I'm gonna have it at the same exact coordinates, just down at the bottom. It's so like four hundred. Hundred equals Not far enough. By five. Six hundred. Please. There we go. Energy opponent. Great. And then this is UIOP. I know this works, so I can move console.log. Perfect. So let's now get some random moves in. So, first of all, right after the opponent goes, it's right here opponent move equals one. This one is going to be update options. Function, update options, so I need to make some more variables, let option 1 equals, do that, let option 2 equals, What option? Let option four equals four. Now, let option one. Okay, there we go. So, I can use evolve. 
to get that. How many lines am I at? Am I already at? Okay, no, I'm still way under cc.js. Okay, let's see. So, grandma. So, it's my turn. Hmm. I need them to appear right here. So, I can have... Well, first, I need to have more text. Text, 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 text. And this one will be 100. 100. Hundred and fifty, two hundred, two hundred and fifty. That is going to yeah. That that's what I thought. <laughs> fifty. No, not five hundred. Why am I so dense? Opponent, no thirty. Please, I just need this to center correctly. Oh, these also all need to be like four hundred. Opponent. 10. It's 400. One time, I need to see if 400 is actually like the perfect amount. Yup, 400 is literally the perfect amount. So 10, 30, 60, 90. So you're going to be met with four options. It's 120 and it's going to be I'll fix that bug in just a second option four okay now I can just remove that okay there we go so i can just remove that okay great so it should just start off with being one two three four which is honestly horrible formatting 200 please work please work One, two, three, four. Uh, I'm gonna make it 400. Okay, one, two, three, four. It's gonna go way off. I just doubled it. Okay, that didn't go way off. I'm happy. 150, 300, 450. There we go. So, I'll actually only make it three options because three options just has better formatting. Okay. Where was it? Oh, yeah, it's right here. So now we got one, two, three. We won 300, 500. Mm, not quite. Seems to be like, if I make that 250, then it officially is perfect. One, two, three. Yeah, there we go. Make the last one 45. that works so now hmm so now I need to have update options uh, 
split. Option count. Actually, no, this isn't a global variable, so let options count equals math.seal math dot random times two if oh yay oh i won that or i i got a roll in that event yesterday it was pretty cool scary cool options one count two three option Then if option to count Okay, there's that. <clears throat> there will be where right after you do this. Oh wait, uh hmm. I need to make these. Oh, I can remove the P key. And then it will be... Run option 1. Run option 2. Run option 3. Function run option one there we go and it can just be evolve option one move and i can just go through doing that so evil two three there we go so uh this may not make sense at all yet but basically is it's going to take a variable change it and run the variable as javascript and that variable is what going to be what changes the stats so there's going to be uh, option one count. Uh, I just need to make option one. Option one move equals player energy plus equals ten. So. Player energy is plus equals 10. I also just realized that I need to copy that over. Five. I. Oh. I O P. Okay. This one will be battery. No way that actually works. Use batteries. It's actually that. But 
I need to get this. Here, I'll actually just make this. Energize. Okay. Oh, I also do need to make it though. If. But, okay. Energize. And if I decide to click I. Hmm. Well, first, I actually need to make it update again. So, once it updates, it is going to. So, first, let me just add some space. So, once it does that, then it's going to update. I please no errors okay no errors so option one move turns into player energy plus equals 10 which isn't exactly working I need to go back up to here where player Player energy. So yeah, no, that works. I'll just copy and paste right into there. I'm not even sure that these are working. Okay, let me just do that. Pick level. Alert. I there is our issue it's not even calling the function so let's go up here so it's run option one two and three two and three and it's not doing that at all so if turn equals player which I need to make now Turn equals opponent, and we'll do that. Turn it to player. Update options, update stats. So now it is player's turn. Hello, Swifty. Welcome to the stream. So. Let's see. Alright, I need to make it so. I don't know exactly why it's doing that, but I can try something up here. Alert. Hi. Okay, so it's not even calling the key functions. Turn equals, I could make this zero and one. So zero will be equal to player. One will be equal to enemy. Okay. Uh, turn equals. Then. If I go down here, if turn is equal to zero, same with all of these, turn is equal to zero, there we go, please work, I'm gonna have console open just in case, there we go. Interesting. Still not working. I don't know why, but I know it's not calling these. 
U I O. Here, I'm just gonna read. Actually, no, I'm gonna keep it like this. So, I just need to find the bug, which is easier said than done. So, it, I need to see if it's even calling this. Oh, okay. It's not even calling that. So if I go up to I controller. Key I. Yep, everything is in place there. I controller key U. Wait, oh wait, no, okay, I got it. Wait, no, I did, I don't want anybody to comment on my stupidity. Nobody comment on my stupidity. Like I I don't I don't want to talk about it. Okay. Yay, energy plus 10. I need to make this U, I, O. U, I, and O. So energize is going to be U. There we go, now it's that turn. Now, when it does that, it first of all needs to make turn is equal to one, which will make it the opposite turn. Just like so. Okay, well, I found another bug. Yay! So, turn is equal to 1. Up here, if turn is equal to 0, which shouldn't even do it if it runs. So, turn is equal to 1. Again, another issue must be up here then if it's allowing me to spam uh, if turn is equal to zero then run yeah it's, it's nothing wrong turn turns to zero turn turns to one then it decides not to run this Well, anyway, that will be it for today's stream. I can't figure that out this bug, and I don't think I will. Because, as of right now, I don't have any errors in my console. Everything is perfect, except for this bug, which I am completely stumped with. Wait, no, I'm just stupid. Why am I this stupid? Hold on, now that should make it so... Well, nope, it works. I, I'm just... Mmm. Gotta hate myself. Yay. So, option one...
This one will be hack. Well, I will be ending off stream in just a minute or 10. Not sure. Opponent energy minus equals 10. Plus equals 5. Opponent's energy minus equals 5. Now, please work. G. Don't want to talk about it. Option three. There we go. So, if I want to hack it, I'm just going to do hack. There we go. Uh, I don't think they actually did anything. Okay, well, yeah, I'm gonna end off stream here. I will see everybody next time. Thanks for the people that actually did watch because I noticed that not many people watched. I'm probably just gonna completely remake this in my sleep because as of right now, it is cancer. Well, anyway, I will see everybody here next time. Later.